This is sequence six, scene 57, and you have no idea what went into this, how many elements, they're, they're more than you can shake a stick at. This is a uh, progression of Aladar running away from the monster cloud. Uh, these are the story sketches. You can see the impacts happening on either side of him as he runs toward the camera. We call this the pinball alley scene. This is a workbook. It gave us, a, again, a good idea of the timing of Aladar as he runs toward camera, but also the impacts of the MFSs, the mythological foot soldiers. And those are the little pieces that got thrown back up into the atmosphere and then came back down and started bombarding the island and making it uh, catch fire. This plate is the uh, foreground that was shot at the Disney Ranch. We use this particular foreground because uh, the Arboretum wouldn't allow us to blow things up, so we had to go to the Disney Ranch and blow things up. This is at the Arboretum. We had to use a lot of interactive light. We had flares coming down from wires that were about 60, 70 feet in the air. This was really the, the uh, only sequence that we used to shoot at night where we had the illumination of the foliage in the back without having to do that in, uh, in CG. This is part of the explosion plates. This is to give the sparks and a little bit of the smoke that was used for the incoming MFSs. This is the explosion plate shot out at the Disney Ranch. We used uh, black powder on these. Originally, we were going to use potassium, but that's a relatively dangerous element. Uh, if you get it on your fingers, it'll burn a hole right through your hand. At one time, we were the largest holder of potassium, and the alcohol, tobacco, and firearms gave us a call and said, why do you guys have all this potassium? And uh, we said, we're blowing stuff up. And they said, well, uh, maybe you better not use it. So we decided to go back to black powder. This is a CG element of the MFSs as they're flying up into the sky after the monster cloud is moving across the ocean. We like this particular trail so much, we used it for all of the MFSs, uh, the trails that are, that are going up into the sky. This is a CG plate of the incoming comets. We only use the first half of this. At the end, it starts to break up, and you can see the spheres uh, that generate the trail. This was used for both the incoming comets, and pretty much most of them in uh, sequence six for the entire monster cloud sequence. This is a miniature of the monster cloud itself. It was shot on an insert stage in Burbank, California. We shot it at a film rate of about 300 frames per second, which gave us a very good sense of large and imposing cloud moving toward the camera. The whole stage was turned upside down because heat rises. We had a board with the black powder above the ground, so when we exploded the black powder, the heat was controlled by the board and with the camera turned upside down, it gave us a sense of this stuff moving toward the camera at a very high velocity and size. This is character finaling. We uh, have a little bit of the effects put in here to give it a, a better sense of what the, uh, the overall composite is going to look like. So we have the foreground from the Disney Ranch, we have the midground from uh, the Arboretum, and rough animation of Aladar as he's moving toward the camera. The little square of dots in the foreground there we use to basically stabilize the camera in relation to the uh, virtual camera and the live action plate. And here's the composite with all the black powder and the monster cloud in the background. I was looking at the composite tree for this a couple of months ago, and there are about 160, 170 different elements if you count the shadows of Aladar as they're moving across the ground with the different light sources being not only the light off camera, but the explosions of the meteors hitting the ground. <laughs>